Hey there, I'm delighted to be doing this uh, testimonial for Rick Walker. Um, my name is Paula Brown and we are a family of five. There's three kids and two adults. And I want to see if I can get my dog over here, Scout, to introduce you to him. Scout, come on over, Scout. Here, boy. Good boy, come here, come here. This is Scout, he's a cutie. Um, he's an English Shepherd dog, and I um, just would love to tell you about our journey with him. So I have always wanted a dog ever since I was a kid. Um, and we, uh, I, like I remember reading um, Where the Red Fern Grows, Old Yeller, all these awesome books about dogs when I was a kid, but we lived in an apartment and we couldn't have a dog and that always made me so sad. But um, anyhow, I, I remember when my kids were born, I thinking that I wanted to get them a dog, but that was too overwhelming and busy when I was changing diapers and so I put it off. Finally, when my kids were older, um, I had some high school students, I said, okay, it's time, it's now or never. So that's when I got really discouraged because um, I had seen, I spent time with a lot of friends and their dogs and I always felt like everybody's dogs was always misbehaved. They jump on people, they don't listen, they run off. I remember I had family members who had a dog and um, their, their animals would run away and they'd have to chase them down the street. It just sounded like so much stress. Um, on top of that, we live on a farm, so we have chickens, we have horses and cows and other dogs. Like we live on a property with a few other people and they have dogs and it just, having a misbehaved dog just seemed really scary and overwhelming. And we even tried adopting like a rescue dog once and it just was a disaster. He chased our cow so much that that cow miscarried and it was just like not a good fit for the dog on the farm or for us and I didn't have the skills I needed. So ultimately when we got Scout, I was like, okay, I'm gonna work with Rick and um, he really taught us so much about how to think about our dogs, how to think about when we're training them, what to, what is reasonable expectations, what's not a reasonable expectation. Of course, like you need to have a, a dog whose personality type fits your home and fits your scenario. And we have been so pleased with Scout. Um, just to kind of give you some examples of things. Now, we are super consistent. When Rick tells us to do X, Y, and Z, we do exactly that. We do X, Y, and Z, so with a training collar and everything. But, um, and he's very specific in how we're supposed to do that. But I, I've been so impressed because I like, for example, I have a lot of friends who's who put their those training collars on their dogs and their dogs only behave when the training collar's on and that's not the case with, with our scout. He's, he's amazing. Um, so just a couple of experiences that have left me super impressed is um, one day when we were leaving the house, um, a cat like ran right past, like right in our pathway, ran right across and um, Scout instantly wanted to chase that cat and he went into full chase mode like, and he started, you know, going after that cat and I immediately was like, stop, no. And he did not have a leash on. We were just walking to the car and we bring Scout everywhere we go. Like we run errands or whatever, he comes with us. And um, he stopped dead in his tracks, came back and stood next to me. And I was so impressed. Um, this has happened multiple times. We have chickens. The chicken will like, it, he doesn't really chase the chickens, but it's like when a chicken runs right across his pass and it, they're in, in a full sprint, then he's super tempted to chase them. And I'm able to tell him to stop right away and recall him. Um, another thing that I've been so impressed with is like one day, um, he was out just kind of running around playing, but then someone came to the property and I didn't want him to jump on them or whatever. So I called him over to me. He wasn't too far away. If he's super far away, we're working on him coming back if he's super far away. But if he's like within 15 feet, he's pretty good at listening. He came right back to me. And then when we were walking, um, I was wanting just to bring him home and not worry about him. And when we were walking, he would, he would want to get ahead of me and I would give him his command, slow down, come here. And he would, he would slow down and he would come here. And I was just so impressed that um, I he wasn't on a leash and he was really obeying. Um, Rick's tip, so we got Scout when he was a puppy and Rick's tips really helped us um, house break him so that he was potty trained um, pretty, pretty darn quickly. Scout is a really special dog. He's a really smart dog, but I also feel like no matter how awesome your dog is, you can mess them up if you don't have the right training. And so I really think that without Rick, we would have been completely lost and it would have been really, really sad and frustrating for us. Um, and um, another thing I like about Rick is that he's so open and personable and um, we've really enjoyed getting to know him as a person. We all feel super comfortable with him. We have gone to training as an entire family. It hasn't just been me. So I have my 16 year old, my 14 year old and my 11 year old daughter and then my husband. Sometimes we do our trainings when my husband's at work but we've done it on the weekends and um, that has been really, really helpful for all of us to kind of know what to do and how to train him and how to work with him. I 
am so, so thankful for Rick and for the training we've gotten him. We love Scout so much. He's a little over a year old and I can't wait to bring a second dog into the family because I've always wanted to. Um, and so we're just gonna stagger it a little bit, but I do feel just so confident. And I remember like literally praying that we would find the right dog, that we would find the right trainer for this to work because I've just heard of so many heartbreaking stories where it hasn't worked for other people. And I really think it comes down to like poor planning, poor preparation and not good training. And um, we we did do the full training with Rick, um, so we paid you know for the full all the you know the full training, not partial or you know we wanted to have a really well trained dog, and I felt like that was important for the farm situation. And I feel that we've gotten even more. Um, my husband is someone that doesn't like dogs. He was just raised that like dogs don't stay in the house, and so he's always been super resistant to the scout thing. And um, my husband loves scout because he's so well behaved and he's not a burden in our home. Um, so anyhow, highly recommend working with Rick. We are so, so pleased to have an awesome member of our family. I'm gonna call Scott, Scout back here. Scout, come here. Here, boy. Come here, Scout. Good boy, yes. All right, so you guys can say goodbye to Scout. Over here, look, over here. Yes, say goodbye to Scout, he's a pretty dog. And I hope this testimonial was really helpful for you guys as you're trying to figure out next steps with your dog. Um, we, we just cannot say enough. So thank you. Bye.